as part of the Education Ministry's strategic plan in ensuring that more students enrolled in various tertiary institutions are offered the opportunity to pursue engineering courses, the Education Minister, Dr. Yao Ose Edutum, says the introduction of the pre-engineering program for secondary school graduates with non-science background is a game-changer. The program will particularly pave way for visual arts graduates who are interested in pursuing engineering courses with their creative backgrounds to actualize it. Some headmasters of senior high schools in the Ashanti region have expressed excitement over the initiative. According to them, this will rubbish the long-held perception that visual arts students are mostly academically weak. The perception that people have about visual arts students, <laughs> that uh, we packed all our non-performing students at the visual arts department, is completely wrong. Because if we give them training, if we introduce STEM education to the department, yeah, we will see that it will improve their performance. And therefore, if they get to the universities to pursue engineering, they will work. If you all come to appreciate the fact that science is not only physics, chemistry, biology, mass, and that music, French, languages is also science, then what the child is able to do is what we will offer. And meanwhile, the sector, uh, secondary education sector and uh, subject combination is so broad and well situated for everybody to benefit. The headmasters again believe this will go a long way to reduce the menace of graduate unemployment in the country. It will help us to uh, reduce the burden of uh, graduate unemployment um, on the shoulders of the government and, 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 and parents as it is happening now. A lot of students finish university, they don't get work to do, and they are still, even though they are graduate, they depend on their parents. And people lambast the government uh, for not providing jobs for them. Ghanaians can repair a lot of engines. Ghanaians have put up a lot of architectural uh, designs and other things. But to Im bring in innovation, skill and new creativity, we really need this bunch of visual art students to come into the picture of engineering. Some visual art students have also welcomed the initiative by the minister as they have expressed excitement over the fact that they can use their creative and skillful background in the engineering field. It would be incredible to see a visual art student being able to do elective math and progress to that extent of having to do engineering. Because no, nowadays it seems like there's no creativity in engineering whatsoever. So having them to be broad and actually like have experience in all these areas and like let like the people particip like participate in all these things, it would be amazing. We are very happy with the government's decision because the GES or LMC, the government, will give visual arts students the opportunity to express our ideas and also give us the chance to also explore our knowledge in the engineering sector. Mm. They have, however, appealed to the Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Ose Edichum, to ensure that their elective subjects are restructured accordingly in order to make it easier to study engineering at the tertiary level. From Konongo Dumas Senior High School, I am Fatih Amin Ibrahim for City News.